Okay, thank you. Uh, age 24, I'm doing my first paying poetry gig, and by that I mean it's the first time I get a check, a type check with my name on it. The woman who introduces me went digging, tells the melting pot of suburban Chicago teens the Hindi word for Idris is fiery. I always thought it just came out of a book. My mother still has it, looks homemade, the cover crude and orange, African names. <laughs> Inside the book it says something like Idris means everlasting or never to die, immortal, but I don't think that's right. My mother, Patricia, my dad, Donald, their parents, Thelma, James, Ruth, and also James, their siblings <laughs> named Alicia, Ron, Paul, Teresa, Darren, who's in the house tonight actually, Darren, hey. Reginald, Janet, Jay, Val, Alvin, and James Jr. They wanted to break the chains. They were Afro-wearing 1960s black power children trying to make a statement through their offspring. Wanted, their, wanted us to have names with throat and vowels. In Detroit, they were a minority. Our black church Ask, now, now, why are you going to give that boy that African name, <laughs> that, that Muslim name? There are names in the good book, strong apostle names. Names in the phone book, strong names. <laughs> in the suburbs, I was a minority. My white middle American school asked, is it Idris, 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 Isidore, Ivan, Iggy? Can I just call you I? Can I just call you E? Can I just call you something other than your name? Age 11, I asked my mom, can I change it to something else? Tony, Mark, Sean, something else. Being named Idris in North America will arrest people. You must grow patience. What an interesting name. That's so unusual. Sounds Turkish. Sounds Greek. Are you Muslim? Where does it come from? Age 16, two Arab guys come through my register and get big-eyed when they see my name tag. They're curious how the name found its way to a target in suburban Michigan. They're disappointed when I tell them about African names. Age 28, I am in the Middle East where they pronounce it beautifully. Not all straightened and flattened Idris. They have given it a joyful bounce. Idris is a prophet in the Quran. Some years earlier, age 20, new to Chicago, broke, cleaning cigarette butts out of a restaurant urinal for minimum wage. My boss, a giant stereotype with a turtleneck, sport coat, <laughs> big glasses, and a thick as Mike Ditka's mustache accent, unzips at my urinal, the one I just cleaned, and he smirks. I ain't gonna remember that name of yours. How about I just call you Eddie? <laughs> yes. And my name became... Eddie! <laughs> Until his assistant suggested that he stop for fear I would claim cultural insensitivity. The gentleman from the UK tells me the Welsh have a 